So I just wanna say a massive thank you to all my subscribers. I've just reached 10,000 subscribers. I can't believe it's happened this quick. Thank you so much. I only started the channel in June, June the 28th, and you've got me here in record time. I really love all your comments. I'm starting to recognize a lot of your names now, which is really nice. I'm gonna keep making great content for you. Thank you once again. 10,000 is amazing. And I'll see you in the next episode. Look after yourselves. And here is that episode. So I'm in the Magic Mask tool, and I wanna to show you a technique that's gonna help your tracking if it goes slightly wrong. So let's just go back to the beginning of this shot, and I'm gonna mask the whole person. I'm selecting my stroke tool here, and I'm literally just gonna do a short stroke. So short strokes are the best in the Magic Mask tool, and I'm gonna start going forwards. So let's get that tracking. So I picked up this tip from a Blackmagic webinar from Daria in the week, and I thought it was a really good way of correcting slightly wrong tracking. So let's just let that track through. There's actually a menu in the option tool here that allows you to use faster tracking. Okay, so you can see there it's gone slightly wrong now. We've got the track, the stroke has actually come off her face. So I can stop the track there if I want, but let's just let it carry on. Okay, so let's come back here a little bit and see the point where, so it's all good up to there. And you can see that that stroke is slowly falling off her face, which is indicating what a person is. So from there, I'm going to correct it. So about here, it's literally coming off now. So we're getting this extended mask here, which is not very nice. So the technique that I found is literally that you can take the stroke point and physically move it. I didn't know you could do that. Now it's still got the previous mask on there. So if I go back one frame, this tool here goes back one frame and retracts that frame. So that's tracked. And now if I track one frame forward, you see that we've got a much better mask on there. And all I've got to do now is press this button here and it will retrack from that point forward. So let's just get that right on her face there because she's come around the corner, so it's moved. And I'm gonna press play. So we're now retracking from that point. And there we go, so that's fixed that mask. So it's a really good technique. You literally just take the stroke and physically move it. And I'll just show you in here, there's that menu I was talking about, use fast tracking. And also in here, you can actually clear selected areas. So if you had, a isolated area that went bad, you can actually just drag your mouse inside the tracking points, click on here, and you can say clear selected track data. So I hope that helps you with your tracking when using the Magic Mask.